Hey gamers, do you like the funny video game monkey from Overwatch? Well now you too can shoot lightning from a funny gun and destroy your enemies with facts and logic. With Humble Monthly you can get Overwatch as an early unlock for only $12 with more games to come. Check it out over on humble.pleasestopshopping.com and support the podcast and the sharks. Well, water's expensive. Why water's expensive? Because you gotta put the shark somewhere, idiot. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you did, did you not pay attention? Nope. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Please Stop Talking. I'm your host. Oh, man, I almost said Avery. Holy shit. <laughs> no, say Avery. Say Avery. Please I'm say your Avery. I'm host, Avery, but you might know me better as David. And I'm here today with my nightmare human person. Bryn Daniel. Hey! And my also nightmare person, D- Mandalore Gaming. Oh, fuck. Hello! I'm so bad at making intros. And today we're joined by with spe- by special with special guest. <laughs> 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 oh man, I'm forgetting Woo. my fucking English. Jesus Christ. And today we're joined by special guest uh, creeltube.tv.net.youtube. Hey. 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 Thanks for having me hey. on the podcast. Sure, man. Anytime. No problem. Tell us about your story, your trophy story from high school that you told me about. Wait, <laughs> tell what? us your story. Uh, story. Give us the deets. Didn't you say something about like the look, story? Look, you got to you got to like wine <laughs> wine and dine me a little bit before okay. before I jump Fuck. into the story. Oh, all right. Um I don't know how to do that. <laughs> somebody no, um, somebody wine him. That's okay. <laughs> uh, David, you're good at whining. Come on now. Uh it's really hot in my room. This Dave, shirt itchy. David, how do you feel right now? How do I feel right now? I feel like this is a nightmare already. This good. is great. Good. Um, All right. So, you know. Tell us your story. We are a professional podcast. Please (laughs) tell us your story now. I want the story. I want the story. I want to know about the trophy. Yeah, I want to know the story too. It's not much of a story though. I don't. Okay. What? You told me about the. Didn't you tell me about the like? I did. The uh, st- what? But it's not okay. It's, it takes a long time. It's not. It's fine. The we payoff. have time. Okay, yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> it's we, uh, have, we absolutely have time. Okay. Uh, yeah. When I was in uh, drama club in high school, uh, a long, long time ago. Um. Welcome to my talking about high school hours. That's fine. It's, we it's did not, that all, like five episodes it's, it's, already. It's not pathetic at all. But anyway, <laughs> high school, really cool time. Uh, I was uh, not the best kid in the world. Uh, probably bottom ten kids bottom in the world, kids. Uh, most likely. But uh, I, I was I was really into drama club, and uh, we were we were really good friends. Uh, we're all in drama club, and uh, our basketball team or something, our uh, girls basketball team won like a bunch of championships or some shit. I I forget. Good for them. Yeah, good for them. But Good back, women. but back then, I I was not not very happy about this, uh, you know, because how can anybody win a championship uh, except the drama club? So, you know, yeah. definitely very jealous. So um, they had they they had like cut funding or something for for the play that we were doing to uh, uh, like make uh, this athletic director woman a new office and all of this shit because she won athletic director of the year. All right, and uh, she had a a giant uh, number one trophy. It's the South Carolina uh, Athletic Director of the Year trophy. It was a giant wooden one. It was uh, probably like five feet tall. And, oh yeah, uh, what the fuck? Yeah, we love our wooden trophies down here. Just a big old wooden one. To is put that in a, your is office. that is that just like a South Carolina it's thing? It's a Southern thing. Yeah. It's yeah, that's because fires materials. don't exist in the South, so nothing catches on fire. <laughs> 
Have you seen well, our soil? Water doesn't even go into the soil; it just sits on top of it because it's like well, it's a tradition dating back to the the Civil War times when uh, you know, Southern tradition to use wood for trophies because oh. they ran out of mm-hmm. precious metals. Yeah, Wait, yeah, of that, course. I don't know if this is true. I don't know if you guys are fucking. With the me. Union had all the factories. They did a lot of things with wood. They built, uh, you know, boats with wood. Oh. You know, uh, they uh, tied slaves to wood. Oh no! Yeah, they're really into wood. Oh, so Jesus it's a big, Christ. it's a big Southern tradition to use wood. Uh, so uh, anyway, that's why most friendship teas are made of wood. Oh shit! Yeah, it's yeah. A, this is a, it's a horrible part of history, but you know, <laughs> we have to touch yeah. upon it if we're going to be talking about the wood tradition of the, of the Carolinas. Uh, not very well known, but if you look, look, if you look it up on Wikipedia, I guarantee you it's there. But uh, so Bojangles was actually a kind of fir tree. The wood era. Yeah. They made the first Bojangles out of the Bojangles tree, and then they sold chicken out of it. Oh, they call it you know, I forgot that. <laughs> they teach us that. We only had like third grade. Dude, I saw Bojangles when I went to the States, and I don't know why I really wanted to go. It's really good. Funny, it's because of the funny name. Is it good? It's really good, don't actually. Don't lie to me, please. Oh shit! Are if you, you if you hear someone say I, KFC is the best fast food chicken, you know they've never been to a Bojangles. Oh shit! I mean, we don't have we don't have fried chicken here, so I would be really excited. Anyways, sorry, go on, go on, Creole. Yeah. So anyway, we were eating at Bojangles, and uh, we decided <laughs> that um, we we were very upset that they had cut the drama school budget uh, and gave this woman a new office and stuff. So, you know, one day. It, uh, I don't know who it was. Uh, definitely wasn't me or my friends. You know, <laughs> definitely wasn't us at all. If you can, if you were to implicate somebody in the in the crime, it definitely wasn't us. Uh, well, but let's if pretend we, you did do it. Like, yeah, if we were to pretend, let's that's pretend. a good. Let's be hypothetical with it. Uh, if we were to okay. do it. Yeah, sure, sure. If we were to do it. We did just uh, work on the play after school closed, and then just went into her office and took it. But, the, you know, that was easy. It wasn't even locked. Uh, I think it was. But somehow we used like a credit card or something to get, you know, <laughs> what? this is all hypothetical. <coughs> yeah. You know, the deadbolt trick with the credit card. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, uh, yeah the yeah. old. But uh, yeah. So <laughs> it got buried in somewhere. It's, it's buried <laughs> deep underground. <laughs> How deep we talking? And, Six feet under? Yeah, yeah, it's real deep. Nobody's <laughs> gonna be able to find it. But uh, yeah, for like a week during school, there was like every day in the announcements, like any info on the trophy that was stolen, come for it. And it where was like, <laughs> where did you bury this? I'm not telling you where I buried it. <laughs> what's so the, you did do it, dude. What's the statue of ta- what's the statue of limitation on? Uh, oh, it's five years. Is it five years for stealing? So. It's stealing a, a trophy out of a school. <laughs> I think so. Specifically, <laughs> let me bust open my big book of laws. Yeah, I think it's five like years in one five month. Or ten. This is I mean, a, it's not a murder. If it's a murder, it's. I mean, our books are probably old. Cause I might mention like capital lashing or something. Is, <laughs> is this a law podcast? Yeah, this is a law podcast. Oh, okay. Blah blah blah's law podcast. I, I so, anyways, next year podcasts are illegal. What do we think about Podcasts. that as lawyers? What do I think about that? <clears throat> I think that's bullshit. And I wanted I want my podcast back. Please, God. You know, gotta have my podcast. Like the, the corn pops commercial. <laughs> <laughs> gotta have my podcast. That's the new ad read <laughs> after the current podcast. arc is done. Breakfast cereal commercial arc. <laughs> Dude, gotta have my video games. I Game just wanna out. play video games. Yeah, use that song. Whoa. Dude. Why? Why is everybody talking about that video? Is I it sent, new? I sent no, it's a video. It's a classic. It's earlier today. Like, right. <laughs> <Dude. It's, laughs> yeah, and now that it's video like, is so old. It's just running in my mind. I can't escape it. Yeah, it's I mean, like that. the kid who yeah. sings it is dead now. It's that old. Oh yeah. What? What? He did yeah. die recently. Yeah, he can, yeah. In the past no. year or so, I think. You can't just fucking do this. No, he to died. Me. He died while we were in Colorado because that's when I saw like the fucking like. Was it that recent? Really? It. Yeah, How it was did, super what the recent. Fuck? How did he die? Car you can't fucking do this to me. I just discovered. I swear this. it was that recent. Wait, Mandalore is really low. What did you say? Fire at the sea park. I, I thought it was a car accident. <laughs> I don't remember. I thought it was a car, a car wreck accident? or uh, yeah, I think so. Damn, he died in a roller coaster. Let me pose a question 
what celebrity yes. do you want to see arrested and for what crime would you like to like what would give you the most joy <coughs> oh, fuck oh man that's a hard one like i like, feel like the the ones i want to say i would get like people would get really upset at me for saying that why Dakota Fanning, human trafficking. <laughs> I was going to say human trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> this is my vote. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, uh, fuck, I don't know, man. Katy Perry, wanna... manslaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Wesley Snipes. Fuck. I don't know, man. Man. Oh, be Wesley. Careful. Wesley Snipes stealing all of the uncooked McNuggets out of the back of a McDonald's. What, is that a crime? I mean, it's a crime. Dude, I might be in trouble. Oh, shit. Jennifer Lawrence, <laughs> human trafficking. Jennifer Lawrence, yeah. Kevin Jennifer Spacey, Lawrence. loitering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Uh, anyways... Um, so there's segue. Speak. Wait, you know, <laughs> segue. You know, Urkel. Remember Urkel? Yeah. Yeah. Treason. Oh, dude. <laughs> Urkel and tre Urkel gets charged with treason. That's Did a I good do episode that? Episode of Family Matters. <laughs> yeah. Benedict that was the Urkel. wildest episode. When he, when he and the robot Urkel, Roberkel. Wasn't that an episode? Yeah. yeah when Carlton was, got charged for weapons trafficking. I never watched Straight Urkel. Racketeering. Yeah. The Roberkel episode. Fuck, what are we talking about? Dude, this is <laughs> podcasting. This now this is podcasting. Now this, this is, is podcasting. podcasting. <laughs> Avery usually has like a whip and he forces us to like get back on track, but That's now true. we can do what oh, we want. This is just nightmare. We we can just go off tracks. What do we we got topics we gotta discuss? Just Google no, news. Honestly, nah. Just Google okay, news. I have, I have I have I have to pose a question. I have to pose a question because I put it in topics okay. earlier. I was working okay. and I work at a retail store. And a yeah. lady, she did like three things that were just weird. First off, she did the thing where she's like, I'm so OCD. I'm so OCD. Like everything needs to be, I'm so OCD. And that's like always a little unnerving because if you know what it's like to actually have OCD, it's really demeaning almost. Like it's like, I have OCD. I totally have OCD. And it's like, yeah, okay. OCD is, OCD is supposed to be crippling. Yeah, right? it's, 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 it can be almost crippling. Yes. It's like you can't leave your room because you must stack jars of jelly beans. <laughs> yeah, like that. And then what? she and then she was talking about these headphones she was returning, and she's like, "Yeah, I just don't like them." And I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm the same. I have sensitive like ears, so I, I had to like be very careful in buying a gaming headset." And she's like, uh, "Really, video gaming? Bar aren't you a grown man?" Oh. And then I helped her out, and she left, and she said, "Oh, thank you for your service." And she walked away, and I'm like, "What? Thank you for." Because, all right, is it weird oh, for someone to say, thank no, you for your service? because no, she knew you're a gamer. She knew I was a gamer. Thank you, you for being a gamer. A gamer. Is <laughs> that weird? Is it, like, is it weird? Because um, I've only heard it said to, like, military personnel. So they basically like, oh, said thank you for well, your service for being a gamer? Yeah, no, it's... <laughs> for, for doing my job. Like, it is a service. Uh, and she said, thank you for your service, like, like for my job. I, but it was weird, because I've only ever heard people say that to... He, yeah, like I mean, like, I've heard veteran. thank you, weird, like, yeah. like, oh, thanks, thank you. I've never heard thank you for your service. I've That's, heard, uh, yeah, I've heard people tell me thanks for your work. Yeah, not, not thank you for your service. She's a fucking weirdo. Fuck her. I don't like her. I don't like her either. Let's break into her home and steal yeah. her jelly beans. <laughs> Let's steal her fucking <laughs> trophy. <laughs> Let's steal her jelly beans. Let's steal her jelly beans. She can't stack them. <laughs> she, if she can't <laughs> find them, she can't stack them. That reminds me of the kid in middle school who's who stole the sink? Excuse you. I don't know. Good segue. <laughs> the whole sink. Yeah. That's, okay. So there, we had a um. I, I don't know how well built your schools are in Canada, but in middle school we had these. Uh, I mean, they're they're no, finely built. Yeah. Let these, me tell you, this one was not as well as well constructed. <laughs> this sink. All right. It was basically the um. I guess the sink bed. I don't know what to call it. Just let, the big square tub part that the water would go in. And it goes down right. like as the drain and stuff. It was so loose on the pipe, on the drain pipe, you could basically wiggle it around. Like it wasn't directly attached to the um like the faucet. But the faucet was just mounted above it. And All so right. it was wiggling, you could wiggle it and wiggle it. And then people found out that you could you could lift that sink tub off. You could just <laughs> pop it up. I'm like, huh, we thought it was funny. 
But then one day, everything got different because a teacher comes in and she goes, okay, kids were going out in the hallway. And at first we thought it might be like a, um, like a fire drill or like an earthquake okay. drill because usually once you go out in the hallway, it's you. Earthqu- wait, earthquakes? Yeah. And so, we'd have those. Earth- earthquakes, really? would, they'd either do um under the desk or sometimes we'd go to like a different room if the room did not have desks. Like Man, I've never something. had one of those. Probably because yeah. I live in Blizzard Town. We don't even get earthquakes here. In Christmas so Town. I made it strange. But anyway, so we're all out in the hallway and the vice principal walks down and he goes, okay, I'm going to ask once. Who has the sink? <laughs> and some people are laughing. And he's like, quiet. You know, like that, that adult teacher yeah, yelling yeah, yeah. voice. Anyone like shits their pants. Quiet. He's like, oh, fuck. He's like, I'm not asking again. Who has the sink? And everyone's fucking looking at each other like, what? And then the investigations begin. They start oh, pulling no. kids into different rooms one by one to have interviews about the missing sink. And this one kid, one of my friends, Jonathan, he was, um, he moved from Mexico in the third grade. He kind of looked like the Fonz. He, he always had like a slither jacket and this curly That's black sick. hair. Yeah. But all, I, snakes I, he's sitting near me. <laughs> and I'm like, and we're talking like, this is so weird. And I look at Jonathan and he's fucking sweating. <laughs> <laughs> and oh no. And he's whispering, he's like, he's like, this kid, we gotta go home soon, man. We gotta go home soon, man. Oh, where the fuck? what <laughs> yeah and, and we're like jonathan like what's going on and he looks so fucking panicked <laughs> where's the sink jonathan? yeah we're just like where's the sink i was like did you do it and he doesn't say they just looks at he just looks at us and we fucking knew he has oh the sink God. somewhere <laughs> where the fuck did he put i'm just sink? imagining like yeah. the sink under his shirt and he's like it was <laughs> guys it wasn't me we gotta get out of here <laughs> yeah <laughs> I need to go home right now. <laughs> but they keep doing interviews. And then the um the vice principal's like, the longer this takes, the worse the punishment's gonna be. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he fucking cracks. What? He, he just covers his face and we hear, I stole the sink. <laughs> <laughs> and the principal looks at him, he's like, What? W- where's the sink? It's in my locker. I have the sink. <laughs> what? How did he fit the fucking <laughs> sink in his locker? It was like it wasn't a very it's deep a sink. sink. It was just like a oh. it was like a little rectangle. Like what it was, was it was cheap. What to do with it? Who the fuck knows? He thought it'd be <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> and so what happens is the janitor opens up his locker, pulls the sink bed out, and he walks into the bathroom. He doesn't fix it. He doesn't glue it back on. He just he just puts doom, it back he just, on. Yeah, he just throws it back on. <laughs> And he didn't get in trouble. We just had to talk about because he didn't know how to fuck to punish he him. It, like, he he don't steal sinks. About, don't like, steal don't, sinks. Don't don't take the sink. Didn't even fix it. Just walks back in the bathroom, plops it back on the drain, and walks out. Well, shit. Don't steal the sink. That's Man. what we learned that day. Clearly on the <laughs> syllabus, it says "Do not steal the sink." Yeah, <laughs> should learn that at the beginning of the year. It was just a prank that went too far. Like, did he think he was going to get it home? How does he get on the bus? He's going. He's, he's like, <laughs> he's at home in his. He's at home <laughs> in his bathroom. Like, ha, two sinks. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Now I can wash both hands at the same time. <laughs> Making my closet to my bathroom one part at a time. <laughs> Jesus. So we're all YouTubers, right? Y- yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're all YouTubers. And unfortunately, that comes with a price. And in high school, that price for me was a pair of pants. What? What? <laughs> What? <laughs> is yeah, the pants became a because YouTuber? of YouTubing, or is that okay. what pushed you into it? So, some people might may know I used to make video game reviews. Oh, Mandy knows very well. Yeah, um, those. So, there's a forbidden video that I've never talked about because it is. <laughs> oh man, it is cursed. It's uh, the first video game review I've ever made. <clears throat> it was on the video game Altered Beast for the PlayStation 2. 
Oh, that's a... It is, it is so cursed. One day I might might release it just to laugh at it. But during the filming, because I, I used to do like face cam stuff where I would do reactions like, oh, the video game's so wacky. And <laughs> this one time I was filming one of those scenes and the lighting was too bright in my room. So I just film student it. I just took a pair of pants like really shitty pants from my high school because I had like there was a dress code where we mm -hmm. had to wear the, the, like the specific pants and the specific shirt and my pants were black. So I just put my black pants over my lamp and I just I, I think I, I do the scene and I redo it a bunch of fucking times. And at one point, <laughs> at one point, I'm, I, I start, I, like, it smells like burning, like really intense burning. And I, I, I like, I, I look peripheral vision. I just see smoke. I fucking turn around and my lamp was on fire. Oh, shit. My pants were like straight up, like they burst into fucking flames and I just, I just get up and I fucking run to it. And I have the, these fucking, this fucking pair of pants that's flaming. And my mom's upstairs and I'm in the basement because my room was in the basement. So I was like, oh, fuck, what am I going to do? Am I like, I need to, because I can't go up. I can't go up and show my fucking flaming pants to my mom. She's going to think I'm <laughs> stupid. That's not the I, way to come out. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I just I just took the pants and I fucking threw them on the ground and I just kept picking them back up and throwing them on the ground because I thought it would do something. <laughs> and honestly, it just made things worse. Oh. And I was there was so much fucking smoke in my room and I just I decided like the course of action is picking them up and pretending that I need to go to the bathroom or something. Yeah, throw them in the tub. Yeah, that's what I that's and that's what I did. And I fucking threw them in the tub. And then I I started the I, I pretended to take a shower. <laughs> And <laughs> no one smelled the smoke yet. I, I, dude, I, mom, mom can't know. Mom can't know what happened. You know. Right. So I take back. I take the bird pants, put them in the trash outside. I'm smart. You know, I wouldn't put it in the kitchen trash. I go back downstairs. I don't know what to do about the smoke because my room didn't have a fucking a window. <laughs> oh. So all night I just had smoke in my room and it smelled like burning <laughs> and <clears throat> I may or may not have that video. Uh, wait, That's what, of the fire? <laughs> dude, I was filming at the you same time. You have the video of the, of the, seeing I, your no, pants on fire? I, re I remember having the video. I think I still have the SD card. I need oh to my find my God. camera. Dude, if I can find that, that would be so fucking sick. Also, my mom absolutely knew because I got fucking grounded. <laughs> did she specify or did she just know that you were playing well, the she, fire she, in there? Well, she, she came to me. She was like, I, I found like your pants. They're, they're burnt. What the <laughs> fuck did you do? And I was like, uh, I was filming a YouTube video and I put my pants on the lamp and the lamp made them burst into flames and i swear she i've never seen my mother more upset in me that's why i need two sinks that's why you need two <laughs> yeah. sinks one for washing one hands for one for putting out flaming pans yeah <laughs> yeah that reminds me but, of like a weird story like coincidentally cuz it's about fire so i remember the corn crib story and then it awakened it opened a door into my childhood Oh my lord. Uh one time my cousin Johnny killed a badger. Much the same way you would kill someone in Call of Duty Black Ops 2 if you threw oh. a knife up in the air and it landed on the other side of the map and headshotted someone. Oh my god. Oh no. That, so, wait, was it intentional though? No. Oh fuck. No. 
How so sick, we were though. we were on the, the so my cousin Johnny isn't like my nat it's it's a really weird family tree because he's my my grandma had a boyfriend and her her boyfriend had a sister so she was kind of quote unquote my aunt so her son was okay. my quote unquote cousin what a mess so we're at his quote unquote uncle's home playing out in the field because he also lived on a farm and we're all just goofing around me Johnny and my little brother. And we're just kind of exploring, messing around, and he, he, he has a knife, and he's like, all right, I'm going to throw this knife, and depending on where it lands, that's the direction we're going to go and explore. So he picks oh, it up, no. and he throws it, and it flies up in the air, and it lands, and you hear, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, no, and it was, it, I don't remember if it was a badger or a possum, but it lived in a hole, and it was a, it was a mam- mammalian creature that he had freaking murdered. No fucking way. I want to think it's a possum from the sound. I, it, it wasn't white. It was like a <laughs> it was like a brown, but I live in Iowa, so I'm like badgers aren't really native. What did you do with the body? Like we just I left it in the hole, dude. Oh no. <laughs> what did you do with the axe? Did you take back it was the a, it was a, no, axe? Is it was the knife, the bloody the, pocket knife that murdered knife. an animal? That's insane. Did you bring it back? Yeah, we brought it did back. Did you lick the blood? Of your fucking I'm pretty victim? sure he just cleaned it off on the grass. I don't don't ask me, dude. I was like ten. What? You didn't even you didn't deny it, so you might have licked it. I didn't lick the blood. <sighs> what did you say? It's so defensive. What's the point? What's, what's the point with you? <laughs> what's the point, dude? Fuck. But that triggered a memory of when I killed a small animal by accident. Jesus. <laughs> Welcome. I, uh, Dark energy abound. Thanks for yeah, having me is... on your podcast about killing animals, guys. <laughs> uh, oh fuck! I I was in Cuba. And it was like my first time in Cuba. Probably like last day. We went to the beach. I I was just hmm. like walking around, going to the beach, and I had headphones on, and I could hear a bunch of people being like, like really fucking loudly at me. And I, I like take my headphones off, turn around to look at them, and I just hear this fucking crunching, like the crunching and a loud. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you stepped on his tendies. No! <laughs> <laughs> I I was fucking terrified. I looked down and I killed a sm- like a baby bird. <laughs> oh. And. Every I I just looked down at the bird and I I start like I, I started crying because I was like really young I think I was like ten and then I look around and everybody is just dis man a lot of people are disappointed in me today on this episode <laughs> Jesus yeah they just were random really people disappointed just kind of frowning at you That's yeah like- just random strangers looking at me like you fucking did that you motherfucker. That's like when my dog got hit by a car. Oh, what? Yeah, my uh, my uh, <laughs> this is my kid was playing with it in the front yard, and uh, they're they no. car. Yeah, they're they're playing with a ball, and uh, they threw the ball out, and dog went and got uh, yeah, run over, killed instantly. Uh, we we got a new dog. A lot of people didn't like it though. You, my my wife Lois was really upset about it. Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Fucking shit! Oh my fucking god! Oh fuck you, Peter! I cannot believe you. I cannot believe I got that tattoo. You piece of shit! Creel said it's so goddamn somber. That was oh just the perfect believe. setup. Let's oh, get really serious, son. okay? Oh, <laughs> Brian the dog is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I think, I think Brian's strong, but I prefer gay baby. Yeah, gay baby. Gay baby. What's rem- gay? I don't remember oh, gay baby. <laughs> Brian. That's that's Stewie. I on, I only know Family Guy funny moments, volume two. I only know Family Guy through osmosis. Lady Bird went in the Megalomart. <laughs> you guys remember when he fought the chicken twice? Yeah, dude. No, it was four they times. They did that more than twice. Four? It was they like four to, to ten times. Oh, he man. The I, need to, I need to catch up on you my You need to catch up on your family fights. guy lore. I'm yeah. not caught with the show, but I know it was more than twice. Dude, 
Is it weird yeah. that like it like shows like that, like syndicated cartoons, they can either go like really bland and boring or like Family Guy and American Dad and like a lot of the McFarlane shows, the longer they run, the more like gory they get. Because they can get away so with true. more. And standards for censorship have also been going I don't, down. But I don't even like that's SpongeBob. True, Mr. Oh, Maybe SpongeBob not gory, but some... like more horrifying. Well, SpongeBob had more of the Ren and Stimpy people like come on board after a while. So, yeah. And then like uh, Hellenberg, when he, after the movie, he was out. Yeah. It's like, oh, dude. well, now that he's gone, let's do more Ren and Stimpy shit. Let's rip Squidward's toe off. I'm pretty Squidward's sure he, he was gone because of Squidward's suicide. That shit was fucked up. Fuck off. That didn't happen. <laughs> Squidward's suicide is a terrible episode, man. Squidward's suicide is bad, it? but Sandy's tax evasion is even worse. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, <laughs> Sandy's tax evasion. I was surprised. Speaking of celebrities. I like when she filled out her I false 1099 to... and started bleeding eyes at the screen. <laughs> yeah. This is the nightmare episode. <laughs> this is the, uh, the best episode. <laughs> yeah, it is the best episode. David, I want you to cut this bit, but this is the podcast that will stop ISIS. Yeah. <laughs> Don't cut that. Because it will. Don't, why would I cut that? <laughs> we will stop ISIS. Why would I cut that? This is just real. All right. I'm just like a Jedi mind trick voice. <laughs> so Welcome to the and... solutions on how to stop ISIS. Gentlemen, okay. uh, what do we got? Step I've got one. a rock. Just, Rock. just write write a stern letter. Tell them, listen, <laughs> what's been happening with you guys? David, it's you got ISIS's fax machine number? Yeah, right here, dude. Yeah, Thanks, man. We're just I'll gonna just, do what my mother always said. We're gonna kill them with a smile. Yes. Yeah. That's how you do things in this podcast. Speaking of this podcast, let's move on to. Patreon patron questions. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Wait, do you... Oh. Do I need to explain how patron question works? Might as it's well. Basi- it's just a patron Q&A. And if yeah. you're part of the $10 plus uh, tier on the Patreon, which is in the description, you can ask a question for the Q&A. All right. Philip... Hein, Hein, Huin, Hein, oh, I'm so sorry, I don't know, uh, asks, if all of you guys could be Avery for a day, what would you do to ruin his YouTube career as fast as possible? <laughs> Delete his channel. <laughs> Delete his channel? That's cheap. You he need can to recover, do he can recover from that. He can make a new channel. He can recover. Yeah. You have to really fuck him up. Come out anti And it's really him. hard. Oh, shit. Mm. I don't think people would believe that. Like re re change his avatar to be like the the owl, but like instead of feathers, it's all flesh. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think that would work. I think it would be. It would have to be like, fuck. Because <laughs> three words, I was, David. I love women. Oh fuck, dude. But a lot of gamers like women. That won't work. Oh fuck. We have to be anti gamer. I think I would have him, I'd start by being Avery. I would tweet out a big rant about how much he hates sellouts and money grubbers, and then immediately start pushing for a furry dating mobile game. <laughs> like his like his own mobile game. I would just announce it. Oh, shit. It. I've taken all I the Patreon just turn money. His channel, I would just turn his channel into a Watch Mojo clone. I think he can recover from that. I don't think he could recover from that. I think people would be too upset at him for becoming a Watch Mojo thing. Top 10 funny Fortnite moments. But they might think it's ironic, though, like the Melon video. They, fuck, you're right. That's the problem with How Avery. do you He's kill Avery in a day? Fucking, I, how do you kill Avery? Hmm. 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 Theory crafting. Theory crafting. <laughs> I think he's unkittable. In a, in a day, I think you can't do a lot. I got yeah. it. You can tweet oh. out a weird rant about something. I got it. it. Four new No Man's Sky videos. In, in oh. one day. In, in one, one day? day. That is going to kill him. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> it wouldn't kill I his would career. change his password and take his account as mine. Like, oh. not even make oh, them. Just shit. make it so that he has to commit to them once you're no longer Avery. Oh, yeah. Oh. Announce a monthly No Man's Sky series. Yes. And in the announcement <laughs> video, when I when I'd chroma the owl, 
I would have the green just be slightly <clears throat> off so you could see some green specks behind the owl. Oh, Avery that's would want to quit forever. Avery would want to quit forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Oh just do God. a really shitty chroma job on all the visual effects. Holy shit! Wait, let's try. Let's try to ruin everybody's channel that's in this thing. Oh, that's a good in idea. This, in this voice call, how would you guys ruin Brendan's channel? I'm drinking salt water all fucking day, <laughs> like syrup, <laughs> lemon juice, everything. I would just, I would just make it a B documentary channel. They'd love that. What? They would love oh, that. They would love that. Fuck, why are your fans weird? I would change the name to Daniel Bren. <laughs> ruin the whole thing. Are you, we're not trying to kill him. We're just trying to ruin his channel. Just oh. calm the fuck down. <laughs> Sorry. Got a little overboard <laughs> there. Oh my god. Uh, how would you ruin Creels? Just do what I'm doing right now. Oh <laughs> no. I'm already fucking doing it. Move closer oh, to the coast in time for the hurricane to come. Yeah, move closer to the coast. <laughs> Let Creel, I'd be Creel and say, you know what, we're going on vacation anyways. We're going to Charleston <laughs> anyway. Bring it on, Hurricane Florence. <laughs> Sounds oh, like a dude. challenge to me. <laughs> Hell yeah. How would you ruin Mandy's channel? Say, I hate Russians. Yeah. In every video. Oh, shit. At the beginning oh. of every video. It's like that Roman senator who ended every speech with Carthage must be destroyed. Just end every fucking video with the Russian people are a disgrace. Everything. Oh my god. And now I have that sound clip. All right. Yes. You grass. So uh Spooky Ghost asks Who among you do you think would be the most likely to survive in a horror movie scenario? Trapped in a cabin with a serial killer, being haunted by a malicious ghost, or something of that nature. So when I was a kid in high school, oh. I theory crafted. I was one of those kids that was obsessed with like, with with you know the zo the oncoming zombie apocalypse. I would oh. hide kitchen knives all over my room. What? Yep. I even thought where would be the. I even like went and surveyed places like where would be the best place to survive. I've. Th I mean, I've thought about it. I feel like a Walmart would be the best place. Worst <laughs> place. It's going to be a high center of traffic. People are going to go there to raid That's supplies almost immediately. Oh, I think everyone true. thinks about this at some point when they're lying in bed at night. Like, you know, if everything goes shit up tomorrow, where would I hang out? I was, I was I obsessed with it though. Like I was like, all right, here are, here are like, here are like centers for like, uh, for like crazy, like if crazy things happen, like here's where people go for a tornado earthquake, where would people go during these pandemics? And where would I not want to go to avoid a high mass of people? And I thought Kmart, nobody's going to want to go to Kmart. <laughs> I think I you know what I think people would want to go to Kmart. I think people would just want to go anywhere. Like I mean that's also anywhere assuming that has that, things. You know, everywhere will immediately be a fucking daisy PvP zone. That is no, true. Everyone going to Kmart isn't gonna be someone with a gun looking to get fat loot off your body. That people is have true. kids, people have honestly, sick the, and elderly. Honestly, legit <laughs> ever the, the ever since the first moment. I think I've ever thought about like, oh, what would I do during a zombie apocalypse? I think the first thing that came to my mind was accept death. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and if not, if that's not the most David thing, well, fuck, I don't know what is. I honestly think Creel would be the most likely to survive. I think so too. It's the dad instincts, you know. Why, why but, me? Well, yeah, you gotta it's keep not just the, the dad instincts. Safe. It's also the he knows horror movies, so he knows what's a good fucking way to die. Like Ooh. you know what. I've seen this before. Oh shit, you're right. It's bad. We shouldn't go into that cabin. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to eat. Uh, I'm I'm always gaming, so my hand-eye coordination oh, shit. is through the roof. <laughs> Dude, uh, honestly, us gamers, we're ready. You know, I say to people, you know, I'm a gamer in the streets of so, uh, MLG in the sheets. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Right. What if we were like trapped in a cabin? All four of us, Scooby Doo ass cabin, you know, one of those cabins with like the doors, yeah. and you walk through the door, you walk out the other like door the at the end of the hallway. Corner. Yeah, yeah, like a, a wacky hallway. Start and checking this... fucking bookcases. Oh, dude, that is right. First Wait. step: start checking bookcases and fireplaces, and then make sure there's no like knock on the fucking walls to make sure I can't like hear any hollow shit. Then just start oh, punching shit. walls. Gently tap every start cobblestone on the floor. Walls? Just fucking David, punch walls. Here's the thing. I'm gonna Just need wood to survive. 
That is true. <laughs> what are oh, we dude. fighting? What are we fighting? We're fighting a, a serial killer, oh. but he's unkillable, like that one guy from the movie. You remember that one movie? Okay, like Friday the Thirteenth. Michael, Wait. Michael Jason. Michael Jason. Is it like Jason. it follows or like? Well, that's not what, Freddy. It that's is, not real life. I can't analyze that. That is true. I mean, but or else we're just gonna kill him with our big gamer this, brains. We're the, just gonna the best him. course of action is to just team up against him. That is true. Only one of us will die, and I, you know, it's not gonna <clears throat> be me. So it's uh, let's be real. It's gonna be me. <laughs> You're gonna say my name like you hesitated. <laughs> I heard the B. I heard it. Well, I because I, I was thinking I it's was gonna like, be b- me. Br- I was yeah. No, because I, I, yeah, it's gonna be you because I'm gonna throw your ass at it. Oh, what the fuck? I'm gonna be the. I'm gonna be the chance. I'm gonna be one of the people that lives. Run at him. We're me, Creel, and Brendan will be making a big plan. We'll, we'll say, David, go get some firewood. But the camera will I be following die. David for some reason. David, go to the funny forest gas station. Okay. Dude, honestly, I, honestly, I'm way too Canadian. If you say please, I'll do it. Wait, I would die would immediately. You oh, you would die immediately. <laughs> if I tried to okay. hide, I would need to smoke a cigarette, which would just immediately <laughs> expose me. <laughs> I'd be sitting in the dark like, like fuck, oh, yeah, smoking fuck, breaks. Fuck, that, that gets fuck I need one. Honestly, like, my best rested. defense technique is show the serial killer my dick. <laughs> oh, what is he going to do then? It's, I, is, I just, I'm going to make him stop in his tracks and then run the fuck away. And I'm just going to keep showing different body parts. I'll work up to the dick. First my nipple, then oh, my shit. armpit, then my feet. <laughs> Honestly, if you are in a fight with someone stronger, just stripping down and screaming is a good way to win. I legit thought about that so many times, though. Because yeah, I'm 5'7". Like, if I they start to fight you and you start screaming on. and stripping down, they don't know how to react because, yeah. that, oh, this person isn't rational. I might want to yeah. get the fuck out. And then I just start running after them with my wee wee out. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. What is he going to do? Punch me? <laughs> if you punch me, you're going to hit my wee wee. Then you're going to touch dick. And then you're going to get gay. You say, what are you going to do? You're punch me? Gay. <laughs> You've been diagnosed with gay. What are you going to do? Stab me? I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Natural body armor. He doesn't have shoes or anything. Like, all right. Has anyone stopped a serial killer with like. A ghost pepper, a ghost pepper. Oh. Yeah. What, like squirting into their eyes, like yeah, you... like like. Oh, think about it. They gotta have their eyes to see you. I mean, that's Scooby Doo as shit. Like just squeezing a pepper, that and the juice Scooby-Doo. flies in like a line directly into their eye sockets. If this okay, if this was Scooby Doo, who who would be Shaggy? Me. I think Creel might be Shaggy. <laughs> I think oh, Creel no. be Shaggy. I'm, I just said me because Shaggy's Who's, tall and I'm six foot five. Be, oh yeah, Bren, you would be Daphne. I would be the creeper. <laughs> <laughs> the creeper. I would just be Velma. Oh, shit. oh no. my glasses. My glasses. I think I'd be that oh, astronaut no. with the skull inside of it that goes, Wah! like wonders <laughs> in the airfield. Oh, what would I be? You'd be Scooby. You'd be Scooby. Uh, You'd be oh. Scrappy. R- You'd be Scrappy, oh. dude. R- 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 Let me at him. Isn't that his line? <laughs> Let me at him. Let me at him. Let me at him. Let me at him. And then I would just get my wiener out and run at them. <laughs> That's my favorite part of Scooby Doo when they yeah. finally Dude, decide Scooby-Doo to wild. take out their wieners and doesn't no Scrappy Doo <laughs> pees all over Daphne or something in like the that was in the live action movie. Oh, yeah, the yeah, live that action. That was in the live oh, action yeah. movie. Dude, I was listening to the ritual sick. music last night actually from Scooby Doo. That movie? Trying to put, yeah. Wait, what? There's Why? this there's this ritual music in Scooby Doo when they're trying to like put the souls so Scrappy can devour them, and they're all doing like the ritual chant in their cave. This, you were, were listening to that? Yeah, we were playing Rust, and we were like, "All oh, you're all like cave <laughs> people." And I was like, "You know I what? Pl- I can't and play Rust." Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo ritual can't... music. Why can't you play Rust? Oh man, are you Markiplier, dude? Awesome. Oh, dude, say you are, and they'll give you shit, though. Dude, that's right. You can just pretend. Like, God, I don't want to pretend, though. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I already get enough. I don't need to <laughs> add on to it. That's fair. Ruin his reputation, funny though. Markiplier moments. <laughs> I, I thought about it like two years ago. Th- what? No, like three, four years ago, five years ago when Rust came out and I got it on like my old Asus gaming laptop. I played it for the first time and I was like, man, people started being like, oh, are you Markiplier? Are you Markiplier? Mark- 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 Mark-? And I'm like, no. But then I thought I could ruin him. Say yes and start having gamer I moments on the server. Walking around yelling, my name is Markiplier <laughs> and I hate children. 
Oh, well, you wouldn't say that if you want to ruin him. We know we're not going to say what he'd probably be saying if you want. To oh, you're him. right. Why did I even <laughs> say that? Why it happens like to this? me all the time. It's awful. People <laughs> come up and they're like, "You're just like Ryan Gosling." <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I get that a lot, but I'm, I sure man, you. that's crazy. Yeah, it's really nuts. It's a problem. Love that Blade Runner. People come to me and they tell me I look like I Dubs, Steven oh, Suptic. Yeah. <laughs> you look like Brent Ben Daniel. Folds. Ben Fo- what who is Ben Folds? From the Ben Folds Five? It was a band. <laughs> ben Folds is it from the Ben Folds Five. <laughs> you know, he's fucking just... from Red Hot. He's from, he's, who the I'm fuck so who the fuck is he again? I forget. No, Ben Folds Five is an American singer and songwriter. Oh fuck, you're he right. Writes... Oh. I was like, wait, where do I know? I'm oh, thinking of Avenged shit. Sevenfold. What the fuck? <laughs> What? A- Avenge Seven. No one said the name of that band folds. in years. <laughs> Avenge Seven <laughs> Folds. What's up? What's up, millennials? Today we're at the. We're, it's VH1. I love the nineties. Today we're talking about. Oh, dude. Ben Folds. Ben Folds. He's got glasses. He plays the piano. <laughs> Go back and listen. It's an oldie, oh, but a goodie. Didn't he sing "Fuck the Police" or something? And it. it the, a, he did no, a cover no. of that. Because bitches ain't shit. That's what. Oh, bitches ain't oh. shit. That's the one. Okay, I know who that is. Yeah, I kind of look like Ben Folds. I could rock his fit. Yeah, just say you're Ben Folds. Uh, I can. J- I'll just go to places and say I'm Ben Folds hey, what's until up? they give me free shit. <laughs> I'm Ben Folds. <laughs> what's up? I'm Ben Folds. Remember when I covered <laughs> "Bitches Ain't Shit"? <laughs> let me let me sing it to you, and then I'll just get out my automaton. You have to oh my introduce God, yourself as Ben Folds from the Ben Folds Five. <laughs> That's what you have to every time. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, here's your 25% off laundry detergent. <laughs> <laughs> He's Ben Folds. We need to give him a discount. Yeah. We need to give him a discount. Here's your 3% discount on your McNuggets, Mr. Folds. <laughs> 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 Mr. Folds, uh, sign my gas pump. Thank you. I might put you in my, me- my next song, but you never know. Wow, thanks, <laughs> Mr. Folds. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for signing uh, and then breaking my MacBook, Mr. Folds. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kenneth Ward asks, uh, what are everyone's experiences with speedruns and which games have you seen or enjoyed? I seeing, used to I hold guess. a world record. That, oh, I got broken. that's fucking that's right. right. I forgot about that. That's wild. Wait, what do you mean used to? Who's the little bitch? <laughs> Challenger <laughs> came and, and overthrew oh, my uh, limb with the lost speedrun about a month or so later, but he went all out oh. though. He, oh, um, did he actually? He he let he installed like a fresh copy of XP <coughs> that only had Limit of the Lost installed, so it wouldn't crash. He set it all up so that like it wouldn't, wow. nothing would go wrong. And I think he That's shaved insane. like forty minutes or something off of it. Wow. I Holy may or may shit. not have been also fucking around during my run of it because there were no other runs, but <laughs> that, That's I, I used to be a speedrunner, but I retired after that that three retired. hour career. You, do you think we're ever going to see you at AGDQ? I don't know. Oh, shit. There's so much pressure with being a speedrunner. They don't tell you a lot about speedrunning. You know, what do you, you got to play the same game over and over. Yeah. In my case, you, twice. No way. <laughs> it's fucked up. It, it is fucked up. It's like torture, except voluntary. Uh, yeah. I mean, I saw some Halo 2 speedruns. Those are cool. I. I rewatch a lot of Tony Hawk's speedruns. Like the Thug games or the other ones? All of them. Because the, the people that play them are fucking insane. Oh, wait, Two Worlds. Like, they perfect. They like oh, perfect. yeah. Oh, the, isn't the Two Worlds? Two is that the six minute just, one? It's uh, yeah. okay. So, so the last boss of the game is literally at the beginning of the game, but you're too weak to kill him. But if you yeah. shoot him with a bow and then run into town, all the NPCs are invincible. Yes. So the entire town the fucking murder him. murders him, and it's all dependent yes. on how quickly the townsfolk can kill the dude. <laughs> it's the best one. That's my yeah, remember this one, one guy was like, oh shit, really like, we need to get more guards here. I'm going to try and angle him towards them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like That's speed runs. One. I like the Max Payne 2 speed run. There's a lot of cool tricks in that one. Yeah. I like learning about tricks that I'll never use. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. What about you, Brindani? I speedrun they're neat. Epic. Epic. 
I, I, I don't know. I like, I, 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 I think I really like the task bot stuff. Oh yeah, that stuff's cool. Where like what? Okay, does anybody know what an what a task bot is? I straight up don't. It, it know. A tool assisted yeah. speed run. So it's essentially okay. a little computer they built that they program to speed run games. It basically okay. like is it like most AI? Way like does it yes. learn? I don't know, not really Wait, learn, not but AI, like machine learning, right? It's you you learning. input like the exact command for, and like the exact timing for it. That sounds fucking. So you can insane. put in, like a perfect run with like a reaction time that people can have. That sounds insane. Why would you do that? To see, would you take do, your, to see how would you fast take, it could be beaten, theoretically. But why would you take time out of your day to do that? That's that's speed running in general. That is true. <laughs> why would you take time out of your day to make a sh- shitty podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I think... <laughs> Kai... Kai... Pascal, I'm guessing it's Pascal or Pas Pascal Pascal. I'm getting. I'm 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 guessing Pascal. it's Pascal. Pascal. All right. Says, what was your worst, most awkward dating ex- experience? You know, maybe we are done. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, in college, I dated this girl, and I uh, I dated her for two months, and then I took a shower with her, and uh, I farted in the shower, and she broke <laughs> she broke up with me the next day. <laughs> No fucking yeah, dude. That is a true ass story. <laughs> my like, my like, current girlfriend broke the fart barrier on her own, and I had to choose at that moment, like two weeks in, do I or don't I stay with this woman? And I was like, sure, why not? Oh shit! You uh, you were gonna break up over the fart barrier? No, I was just like, I just it was, it smelled it so been- bad. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it was like it wasn't like a like a little cute toot. It was like a a, a garbage oh. bag full of dead raccoons <laughs> soaked in sewage in their own dead Jesus. raccoon urine, swished raccoon around urine. and fermenting in a barrel for a hundred years. Jesus Christ! Be a delicacy in Japan. <laughs> Our worst dating experience. Oh like, God! I I don't know. I, I, a girl went to like. Uh, senior year, I, 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 a girl went out to the like homecoming dance with me out of almost pity. I really liked her, and then she was like, "Hey, I'm not interested in you." And I was like, "Ah!" So I like was super upset the whole night, and then like the next day in choir, I I told my friend very loudly because I knew her friend was sitting in front of us that I was like, "Man, that sucked." Like she she didn't reciprocate my feelings, and I wish I at least didn't like have to pay for my way. I wish I got my money back. So oh, I, was a fucking I I was such a little prick like Jesus like I knew it was her friend Christ. later in the day too she tried to give me money back and I was like I'm so sorry I'm a dick like no just keep it this is never talk oh, again God. it was all my bad I just Brendan. I was really upset yeah oh that's really bad but not as bad as dating a girl for two years and being gay oh shit oh, wow oh. <laughs> what a debacle oh, no. Oh no! Wait, wait. Is that somebody we know? Yeah. Uh, no. 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 Oh, okay. Just me. No. Like, you know, I don't, don't want to. You know, I don't want to laugh at know. somebody that we know. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's a little Fuck rude. Hell. That is a little rude. Yeah, but that is a little ridiculous. Yeah, that is ridiculous. <laughs> she told that person. <laughs> <laughs> Just she give it up. The, 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 allegedly, the, the let's pretend. Over. Let's pretend okay. it was yeah. David. Okay, allegedly. yeah. What do you think? Happened? Allegedly, I'm gay. <laughs> Got him. Allegedly, I went out with a girl because I couldn't accept it. Allegedly, I broke up with her, and allegedly, she told me those were the two worst years of her life. Oh, and that she wasted two years with me. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Well, fuck. Yeah, so, oh, well. somebody told me I was the worst thing that ever happened to them. Man, <laughs> that, that was pretty great. That was is the fart that's girl? rough though. The fart. <laughs> the <shower> fart. <laughs> no, it was it was uh, my parents. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, just kidding. Uh, I'm not going into detail about that. She like oh, fucking man. find me and beat the shit out of me. I don't Creel. Speaking of finding you, where can the good people find you? Uh, on YouTube, on social. You can find Tell me us at what's happening. www.youtube.com slash pootiepie. Uh, you can check out my <laughs> channel. 
it's pretty small. <laughs> it's just it's, it's a startup. You know, it's a startup. It's pretty tiny. Um, yeah. uh, you really want me to say it's? Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's youtubecom slash tube and then hell yeah. Uh, I don't know what my Twitter account is at my creel. And why? Oh, it's, it's gonna be linked in the description. Oh yeah, link that shit in the description. Yeah, Look fucking out. link. Look out, folks. Consider right. yourself linked. You want to hit that reveal more button and click the Creole link. You know, thanks. You, you want to hit hit the the bell? Hit the bell. You want to hit the bell? You want to watch all his videos because they're fucking sick. How about you, Bren? My name is Bren Daniel on YouTube. You can find me at youtubecom <laughs> Bren Daniel Reads. And also on Twitter, I go by Brendaniel H because Brendaniel's taken by a Canadian company, so I can't have it. Wasn't wait? Wasn't it a woman? It's like wasn't a. It's a, like a. Wasn't it Brenda? No, but like Brenda. they're a company called Brendaniel, and she like oh. works in that company. Mayor name's Brenda Neal. Yeah, it is. Ah, ah that sweet lady. What about you, Mandy Lore? Uh, you can visit me at mandylorgaming.ru <coughs> whenever you want to check out my videos. And you can find me. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, David? And you what about you, find, David? You can find me at twitter.com slash music on SoundCloud at music and on Spotify at sirmeow. My new song, I'm Here, is out right now. Uh, link in the description and it's going to be the thing playing us out. Uh, bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks for bye. listening. Bye. Sorry. I <laughs> apologize. Good night. <laughs> Sweet dreams.